Aloha, members. Um, I have uh, a chart here which I think is useful. I'm sorry I didn't submit it in advance. Um, this comes from the 16-page document that the Appleseed Center had produced on the housing crisis in Hawaii. I think it's a very useful uh, document. I'm sure you've all read it. Um, let me express an unusual amount of humility as I start off because I haven't had the time to really immerse myself in, in the com complex issues of, of homelessness uh, to the extent that you folks have and some of the agencies that are here testifying. So I'm trying to sort through the issue and figure it out. And this chart, which I handed out, um, for those who haven't seen it, it shows the disparity in the climbing cost of housing in Hawaii versus the basically stagnant or slowly growing, not even keeping up with inflation, growth in wages, the earnings of people. This is the context in which we have to talk about homelessness. Yes, there are homeless people who have been deinstitutionalized and who have been broken. There are people who have mental illness, who have alcohol abuse. These are the most vulnerable members among us. They're the canaries in the coal mine, though. If you plot these chart, this chart with the different graphs towards the future, more and more of us are going to be homeless until we solve the problem of houselessness. I'm glad to, to see that we've settled upon this, this slogan or this approach, uh, housing first. So if that's our serious intent, why are we going law enforcement first? Why are we waiting for the managing director to hopefully have a program that starts in three months from now, but it's not sure how big it is, uh, before we start going to the law enforcement approach? So I would ask you to defer these bills, not pass these bills out, and let's put our minds together and our hearts together and see what we can do for our people. Thank you. Thank you. Members, any questions for Mr. Dean?